Hi, I'm Jennifer Sarangelo. I'm the CEO of National 4-H Council and you're watching 4 for 4. The concept of these talks is simple. We ask four questions in four minutes. And today my guest is Deputy Secretary of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Stephen Sensky. Um, Deputy Secretary Sensky is a wonderful 4-H alum, very proud of his roots and a great friend of 4-H. So welcome, I'm so happy to have you. Well, it's, it's, I'm thrilled to be here, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Great, well, we're going to jump right in. Our four minute clock starts now. So growing up, you were a 4-H'er in Minnesota. How did your 4-H experience shape who you are today? And what, why do you think it's important for 4-H'ers to have these experiences? I have to say, Jennifer, 4-H had a huge impact on, on me and really did shape who I am today. Uh, obviously, the experiences of growing up in, uh, in 4-H, being involved in a club that taught me leadership, confidence, uh, and uh, really expanded my horizons. Uh, I remember one event in particular that was through 4-H. My 4-H club really strongly encouraged 4-H'ers to participate in what is now known as the Citizenship Washington Focus. Uh, and yes. uh, it really just exposed this young farm boy from rural Minnesota to the world that existed beyond there and really shaped my desire to get involved in public policy. What a great story. I love that. So as you look back on your life journey, what or who really helped you to succeed? Well, I have to give, first of all, I have to start out and give credits to my parents, uh, Gladys and Harry Sensky, uh, were always so encouraging to me and, and, and both for my sister and I encouraged us to get involved and to try new things and experience more. And I think that's what you'll find that the 4-H'ers today, they are encouraged by their parents, they're supported by their parents, and that is just such a big part of it. But I would also, I, I have to say, and this goes back to 4-H as well, uh, the, uh, the adult leaders, volunteer leaders at our local 4-H yes. club really encouraged us uh, as the 4-H members to try new things, would always give us and, and, and talk us up and give us confidence uh, no matter if we did only do maybe a so-so job at first, uh, they encouraged us to try again and that really gave confidence. And then uh, lastly, I, I have to say our 4-H livestock judging coach, Ron Harder, taught us the, the value of hard work and dedication. We would have to get up and have practice three times a week, every day during the summer at five o'clock a.m. Wow, that is dedication. Well, let's shift to today. So technology is influencing agriculture in incredible ways. How are you seeing new innovation um, advancing the industry? I see it through precision agriculture, data, sensors is really changing agriculture today. We have, uh, of course, mapping of uh, yield monitors where we know the more productive soils in a field. We can use planting technology to give sub-inch technology, to plant the seed and plant just the right amount of fertilizer right next to it. Uh, and allows farmers to be more productive and also to be more sustainable and cut our environmental footprint in agriculture. So 4-H has been around for over 100 years and is a signature program of USDA, as you know well. What are your thoughts on the mission of 4-H and why it's still relevant today? First of all, we're still gonna need all of the leaders. And I think that's one of the big things is that 4-H teaches skills and leadership. I love the 4-H uh, commercial and ad about you're gonna need me uh, because that is so true. Our world is gonna need all of those skills that 4-H is teaching to young people. But I, I also go back to what I just answered on talking about precision agriculture. We need soil scientists. We need computer and data scientists. We need lab technicians. We need mechanical engineers in addition to crop and animal scientists. And uh, I think that's the wonderful thing about 4-H. It just gives that whole complete view of the person and everyone can be involved. Deputy Secretary Sensky, thank you so much for this fun conversation. It's been great to visit with you. This is 4 for 4 and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It's been great to be with you.